friends welcome back to another video so this video is going to be very important video because in this video we are going to learn about three most important terms which are very importantly used very frequently used in the electrical system that are nothing but resistance and inductance and last one that is capacitance so these three are most important term which is very important in the electrical system so let's start the video without taking much time first of all let's see what is a resistance so resistance is the property of a device which is used to oppose the flow of electric current in the circuit okay so the work of a resistance is nothing but it is opposed to flow of electron or the flow of electric current in a circuit okay so resistance is generally represented like zigzag which shows the opposition to the flow of electric current so this is the representation of a resistance that means by representing like zigzag it will show the opposition offered to the flow of electric current in a circuit okay so it's all about the resistance concept now let's talk about what is a inductance so inductance is the also property of a material or a device which oppose the flux linkage or change in flux linkage i have already told you in the previous videos that flux linkage is nothing but it is the flux passing through n number of turns of a coil that is the total flux passing through n number of turns of a coil that is known as a flux linkage okay so it will that means inductance will oppose the change in flux linkage okay so this is the property of a device also so inductance represents the magnetic inertia of a device that means it will oppose the change in flux linkage in a medium okay so that's why it is represents the magnetic inertia of a device so inductance is represented like this you can see in the image also the inductance representation so now let's talk about what is a capacitance so capacitance is the property of a device by virtue of which material stores the charge on its surface okay so capacitance is nothing but it is a property it is also a property of a device which is used to store the charge carrier on its device on its surface okay the device or apparatus which is designed to store the charge specifically is called as a capacitor okay so the device which is used to store the charge on its surface that will be called as a capacitor okay so capacitor is a device and capacitance is a property of the device so if two metal plates are separated by a distance there is a dielectric or insulating material present in between two plates that will be called as a parallel plate capacitor so in the image also you can see the parallel plate capacitor okay so this is the representation also of a capacitor so it's all about these most important terms which are used in the electrical system very frequently so please